Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Former President Donald Trump made the wrong kind of history Thursday, becoming the first current or former U.S. president to get his mug shot taken while being booked at an Atlanta jail over his attempts to reverse the 2020 election results in Georgia. Trump, 77, turned himself into authorities at the Fulton County Jail, following his grand jury indictment on August 14 on charges including racketeering, conspiracy, false statements and asking a public official to violate their oath of office. He was released on a $200,000 bond and agreed to an order limiting his ability to post on social media about witnesses or co-defendants in the case. Getting his mugshot taken was not a comfortable feeling, especially when you've done nothing wrong, the former commander-in-chief told Fox News Digital hours later. They insisted on a mugshot, and I agreed to do that, he added. This is the only time I've ever taken a mugshot. Trump attorney Alina Habba said earlier this month that the decision to snap a mugshot of the former president was a bit of an ego trip on the part of Fulton County District Attorney Fani Willis. The purpose of a mugshot is when you don't recognize someone, you think there's a flight risk, Habba told Fox News. This man is the most famous person in the world, the leading Republican candidate right now. The 41-count indictment also charged 18 other Trump allies and supporters, including attorneys Rudy Giuliani, John Eastman, Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis and Kenneth Chisebro, all of whom surrendered this week for booking. The lawyers were joined by GOP poll watcher Scott Hall, former Coffee County GOP Chair Kathy Latham, former Georgia State Senator David Schaefer, and Georgia lawyer Ray Smith. Bonds were set at $100,000 for Eastman, Powell, Ellis and Chisebro, $75,000 for Latham, $75,000 for Schaefer, and $50,000 for Smith. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark, and Trump's 2020 Election Day Director of Operations Michael Roman, were also indicted, but have yet to turn themselves in. Meadows and Clark petitioned for their surrender to be postponed until a separate request that the case be moved to federal court is heard. Yes, District Court Judge Stephen Jones denied both requests on Wednesday. The other co-defendants, which include attorneys Ray Smith, Robert Cheely, Sean Still, Illinois Pastor Stephen Lee, former Black Voices for Trump Executive Director Harrison Floyd, former Canny West publicist Trevian Cuddy, and former Coffee County official Misty Hampton, have until Friday at noon to surrender. All 19 defendants were charged with violating Georgia's racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, RICO, Act, a version of a statute Giuliani used to bring down members of the mob while a federal prosecutor in the 1980s.